that's the update on the glasses uh, that nobody asked for. So, hope you enjoyed. So now I'm in that really weird stage of my glasses where when I take them off, my eyes are fuzzy. I can see close up really well, but distance gets a little, little iffy. And my eyes hurt when I take my glasses off and start trying to look at stuff. They feel cross-eyed. I'm super aware my glasses are still on my face because I'm still getting used to wearing something all the time. I feel like I can see a little better now that I've adjusted. I don't feel like I can see, let me rephrase. I don't feel like I can see better than before I wore them. I, f I feel like I can see better from when I very first put them on. Like I can adjust a lot faster when I turn my head uh, and I can see things clearly. Whereas when I did this before, please stop opening cupboards. Go in the living room and play for a little while, okay? I love you. Eat all I will make you something to eat. You want spaghetti? Yes. Spaghetti and ball cheese? You want Cheetos with spaghetti? That's weird. I feel like I can turn my head and adjust a lot faster than when I originally put them on. Um, I haven't gone back outside since the other day when we went to the grocery shopping, uh, which was a super weird experience and it just felt wrong <laughs> with these glasses on. We are in day three of wearing full time. So I wore like Wednesday for about half the day wore all day Thursday, all day Friday, and today is Saturday, and it's about noon. So I've been wearing these for combined three full days. It's starting to hurt the tops of my ears, the, the, where the ear part rests on my ear. This one especially, it just bothers me. So sometimes what I do is I, like I did this with my sunglasses all the time. See, you're a little blurry now. Like I feel like I'm looking at you cross-eyed. Um, sometimes I'll put the glasses on so that it goes through my hair up here, which I know is probably not good because then the glasses, you're not looking through the correct part of the glasses because these are bifocals and they're progressive. So there's the bifocals there, you're all fuzzy, and then I bend down a little bit and it comes into view. But they're also probably dirty. I think I need to, ooh, yeah, I need to clean them off. Um, and I have, I've had a constant lulling headache, like, not super bad, not bad enough. I need to take, you know, pain meds for it, but I know it's there and it's nagging at my eyes, which I'm hoping goes away after a little while and I'm expecting it to because that's what everybody says. I haven't worn makeup since I got these either, so I'm not sure how dirty they're gonna get from my makeup, but my nose is really greasy. My whole face gets greasy, my whole head, like everything. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it fits on my face with makeup and if it slides around very much. That does feel better. It feels so much better when the, the lenses are actually clean. I'm still loving how they look on me. I love the style of them. I think they're still super cute. I do want to put a full face of makeup on uh, so I can see how they look on me with a full face of makeup. So I probably won't do that today. Uh, I might do it tomorrow because I do have a, a Zoom meeting tomorrow. So I might do that because um, I'm also recording some stuff. So that's the update on the glasses uh, that nobody asked for. So hope you enjoyed. I'm currently in the process of making some sourdough uh, bread, like an artisan loaf of bread. And here is my baby loaf in baby stages. So this recipe is new, I haven't used it before, and it's just from the wonderful world of Pinterest. I had my starter from last night that I fed last night, and it was still nice and, and thick, and when I, when I went to scoop, it was so, it looked perfect, and I'm like, you know what? This is what I see when I see people making sourdough bread when they scoop their starter. This is what it looks like. It had all those holes in it, oh, it looked, look beautiful. This is my time to shine. I need to make this bread right now. So 
I got that going, got it in the mixer, had it kneading for what felt like forever, and I still don't think it's quite done, but I'm letting it rest. It needs to rest for like five to six hours, and then later tonight, can take it out, shape it, and then it bulk ferments in the fridge for like 16 to 20 hours. So basically overnight, and then I can have fresh bread tomorrow for dinner or whatever. Got that going to test it, and I'm I'm gonna do all the tucks and folds, and the turn and folds, and the flop and fold, whatever folds I need to do is gonna happen on this loaf, because my goal, and I haven't done it yet, is to make that beautiful loaf of sourdough bread, like the whole, the round, and have it, when I cut into it, be holy. Those classic sourdough holes in the bread is what I'm looking for. So I'm, we'll see what happens, but I was off to a good start with my starter being what it, I thought it should look like um, based on what I've seen online. So we're trying that. I feel like it's not hydrated enough. I feel like there's not enough liquid in it. Um, and I feel like that has to do with my elevation and stuff. So. It's just a trial and error. I have to like do all these recipes and test, 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 and see. That's where we are with that. Glasses update, bread update. Um, I've got the rest of, I don't think you can see it right now, but I've got the rest of my starter up in its little house up here above the fridge um, in the jar. Um, fed it this morning after I took some out to make the bread. So that's gonna get bubbly and happy, hopefully, again. Have some discard in the fridge, which I did make yesterday. You should have already seen that video on this channel, but if not, it'll be out soon. Um, I made sourdough scones, uh, chocolate chip scones, which were really yummy and super easy, and I love to use my discard for those. I make them probably once a week. I haven't made them in a little while. Um, actually, that's not true. This is the second batch I made in like two days because they're that good. Um, but before that, I hadn't made them in a little while just because I was like burned out from baking. So I had to take a break. But I do have some discard in the fridge that I need to use. I'm planning on making biscuits later today for dinner. Don't know what we're actually having for dinner yet because I don't have any meat out. We use the last of the chicken last night well we used some chicken last night in our chicken and rice casserole and we do have leftovers of that so honestly that's probably what's going to be for dinner actually no garrett needs to take that for work for lunch and there's only one other one and so I, I i don't know i'll have to figure it out but regardless i'm going to make biscuits out of the sourdough that i have in the fridge there's just over a cup and it takes a cup for the recipe that i have so that is what's shaken so i'm going to make us some lunch um, probably make us a little bit of spaghetti and then get him down to nap and today's Saturday So I'm not working today taking the day off. I am working tomorrow But I'm taking today off and I'm just going to lounge on the couch and play video games on my switch all afternoon Because that's what I want to do. I've been obsessed with Stardew Valley and I've been obsessed with Right now I'm playing Pokemon Diamond. I've been obsessing over Pokemon Diamond recently and I wasn't a, the, the biggest Pokemon fan um, I played sword a little bit because uh, Garrett had sword version. He has like quite a few of them. And so I was playing sword version. That one's pretty fun. It's like an open world um, type. But now diamond is pretty different from that. And um, I'm really enjoying it actually. And I like the team I've built so far. And there are certain Pokemon that I want to try and get. No, we're out of suckers. So that was the last one. More circles later. You can have white circles later. Mm, purple circles and white circles. Yeah, you can have purple and white after um, after you wake up from that night, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make spaghetti for lunch. So anyway, I've been obsessing over that. That's what I want to do today. Um, I'm going to try and play with the glasses on, but I might end up at actually having to take them off. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to ignore them. I've got to start making our lunch so we can get on with the afternoon and um, I'll see you guys a little later. Don't know what this vlog is going to be about. Don't know if I'm rolling it into the uh, other clips that I've already filmed that I haven't edited yet <laughs> or if I'm going to make it its own. So it's going to be a surprise. So hope you like it. Talk to you later. Bye.
Thank you.